Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Steve Bridge coming to you here today. I know that in the last two days I've put up uh, videos hyping up the fact that I think that the Vince McMahon award that is going to be given away on Monday Night Raw is going to be going to, go to uh, John Cena, and that is to set up an angle with The Undertaker. Um, reports are coming out today that as of right now, even though John Cena um, took to his Twitter account the other day, posting the cryptic tweets, making people think that he is planning on risking it all, in order to have a WrestleMania 32 comeback, in order to wrestle The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Uh, Dave Meltzer is reporting as of right now that, that the plan as of right now is for Undertaker to have a different opponent other than John Cena. Um, it is not known who this Undertaker opponent is to be right now. Um, we basically know that it's not going to be Cena. We know that it's not going to be Braun Strowman. We know that it's not going to be Brock Lesnar. Uh, we know that it's not going to be Kevin Owens. Uh, Kevin Owens pitched a, an angle for him to be able to, to fight Undertaker, and Vince McMahon turned it down, um, thinking that it wasn't the right time for him. Braun Strowman was the rumored person for a long time that people really feared. Um, but I guess that uh, Vince is smart enough to see that nobody wants to see this match. And I, I, I guess maybe WWE is just feeling that Cena is not going to be able to make the miraculous comeback. Um, the only thing that we can think of as, a, as of right now is that Someone who is going to be facing Undertaker at WrestleMania more than likely is not on the WWE main roster right now, um, which could lead us to point uh, towards Finn Balor. It could lead us to point um, towards uh, <laughs> maybe Goldberg. I mean, Goldberg is a name that's been floated around maybe coming in. People thought that he would be coming in to have a match against Ryback. Um, really, other than that, my mind really draws a blank. Um, people might be thinking Sting due to the fact that Sting versus Undertaker is a rumored match that uh, you know people have dreamed up for years uh, and never really WWE hasn't pulled the trigger on it. Um, I don't know, man. After the Seth Rollins match, I think that WWE would be very scared to put Sting at his age in the ring again. Uh, I'm not saying that he was his fault uh, during the buckle bombs into the corner that he got injured, um, but I just think that WWE doesn't need to have another thing like that with Sting or you know with anybody uh, wrestling at that at that age. Sting got in shape. Sting was over. It wasn't his fault. I just think that his body gave out on him. It wasn't for him. So as of right now, um, if I had to bet money on it, I still think it's going to be Cena versus Taker um, at, at WrestleMania 32. Um, but as of right now, I guess it's, it's a wild card open to anybody to see who's going to be facing Undertaker at WrestleMania 32. So you got to Keep your fingers crossed and pay attention to Raw, pay attention to SmackDown. Um, any little thing could be the biggest hint in the world. I think that's maybe why I was betting it all on that Vince McMahon Memorial Award, whatever the hell that thing was called. The biggest award ever given away in WWE history. It's going to be big. Uh, maybe right now it looks like it's going to be Triple H uh, winning it. I think a lot of people are thinking that's going to be Triple H because of the fact that... Uh, It'll just make people hate him and maybe turn on Roman Reigns. But uh, we'll see what's going down. Monday Night Raw right up around the corner. Oh, Fastlane, too.